Okay. Cheers. Cheers to Cheers. another Thirsty Thursday. <laughs> I enjoy your background today, Caitlin. The double rainbow. Double rainbow. The elusive. Yeah. Fantastic. Now I see I see the bat signal in the sky. Do you have to go? <laughs> that is an excellent question. I love that you asked that. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> No, Gotham can wait, hey? Yeah, we're doing, Gotham, we're doing a Thirsty Thursday. Like, <laughs> you know, I'm going to pause for a second. Um, I feel so important. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> oh, man. So today we want to talk about giving. Yeah. I think. And this idea of karmic business. So why don't you tell yeah. everybody about karmic business? Well, funny enough, we named it like a while ago. We're like, what are this is, you know, we're just kind of put stuff out there. Like when we had all this time to lean into Enta, we're like, okay, well, what can we do? What, what value can we add to our network, to our colleagues, our clients, you know? And I think it was funny. We, we had this kind of philosophy, whether it was I don't know, inspired by books that we had read or things that we had heard, but just do good help out help out help out and you know you put enough good energy out there it'll come around to you and i think that was really um brought to the forefront a little bit when covid hit right and we lost a lot of our contracts and we we really were thinking about other small businesses particularly local ones right that are, are really suffering that had to close their their doors and um yeah, I mean, we, nothing ever came of it, but we actually offered a bunch of free services if anybody wants it, right? With the idea of kind of pay it forward as the only price, you know? Yeah, I think everybody was just so internally focused. Having, you know, free management consulting services, um, well, beneficial, they were just, everybody was in survival mode. So maybe totally. the idea is good, it, the timing was not, but we wanted to help, right? So what do we do? What do we offer? It's not like we can turn around and, um, like what do we have to offer? This is, mm -hmm. this is our skill set. This is our offering. So, um, maybe, maybe there's an opportunity for us to, to revisit that. But so we looked elsewhere, we went into our network and said, okay, what can we do to help our network? And, uh, I think that was, we, we had a strategy session with our whole network and came up with some innovative ideas. Yeah, I think this whole idea of collaborating and working together and supporting each other, right? And that's where some of these ideas, um, the end to asks interviews idea came out of that, right? Like, you know, started off with or some organic outreach. Like, hey, let's all put some content out there. And then it was like, hey, let's actually interview each other, put our faces up there. and Yeah. And uh, it's been tons of fun. Like, how many have we done now? Like, ten or twelve or um, at least, yeah, a lot. It's been great. Yeah, and it is a it is a little bit of work, right? We do the interview, we edit it, we put it in a web page, and all this stuff. But like, it's super fun just talking to people um, and getting their points of view. I I really have enjoyed the evolution. I mean, not only with our ability of, of interviewing skills and things like that, but, you know, just these natural conversations, right? Cause you know, how much do we enjoy our conversations about stuff? Right. Yeah. And I, I think we got better at it too, <laughs> too mm -hmm. as, as time went on because we learned how to like kind of structure it and make it more, more like a conversation. Right. And, mm -hmm. and I think that's what makes it so real. But the funny thing is, is like the people we're interviewing you know, would technically, I mean, in some aspects, be competitors mm -hmm. to, to our offering, right? And, and this thought of, we're not going to compete, we're going to embrace and support is really one that, um, you know, hasn't been, my, in my experience, the typical, the typical way uh, for consultants, and especially in Alberta, I think it ends up being kind of, um, competitive and everybody you know trying to get their seat at the table but the thought that is you know we are really better together 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's it's definitely, and we've seen that on the engineering side, right? Because you can get a little scrappy, right? You totally. Know, letters, cease and desist letters, and all sorts of stuff, right? Um, but yeah, if we can work better together, I mean, a few times now, I can think of at least two or three examples where we've fully felt capable of executing the work, but we shared it with someone from our network because we believe that the result will be better. And every time it's it's exceeded my expectations. Like it's been incredible. And our clients. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So, so it, um, I feel like it's, it's, it's definitely a long game, but it is, it's paying off, right? It's coming back to us with repeat work, with referrals, with, um, you know, and plus we get to collaborate with these awesome people. How fun is that? Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And that, I, I think that's the, like a really cool thing that, you know, we've, try to provide value and provide value and provide value and provide value. And then, you know, I think people are sick of being sold to. And like, yeah. even when we engage people and say, Hey, like, let's, let's see if we can support each other. Let's see if there's anything we can do to connect each other to an opportunity. They're like, Oh, you mean you're not trying to sell me anything? Right. <laughs> We'll take it aback. <laughs> yeah. And it is, it does take energy to put energy out, right? It definitely takes, uh, um, you know, kind of an optimistic belief or faith that it will come back, right? Because it can be exhausting and it can, you can reach a point like, well, man, what are we doing these for? We put how many of these out there? Um, but then magically it's starting to come back and we're starting to see it in very unexpected ways, I, I think. Um, I agree a hundred percent. Like it's coming back tenfold, but the, you know, t telling somebody, Hey, embrace karmic business is not an easy thing to do because like you pr prove your R R ROI, mm -hmm. right? Everybody's in metrics. Everybody's in metrics. Prove it. Prove it that, that this lead came from that action. Yeah, it's tough, right? Social media, posting, publishing, you know, show right. me that posting this video right now will help business help us personally. Like, show me that that's going to happen. Well, I can't really. I just kind of believe that it's the right thing to do. And combined with a whole bunch of other actions, you know, maybe helps build a, a profile or shows people who we are and, and convinces them that we're, we have their best interests in mind. And, Maybe they want to work with us, right? Like, yeah. What else can you say? What else can you say? I know it's it's funny. Like, the, it's a different way of thinking. Like, uh, you know, leaders are so conditioned to be able to measure it. If you can measure it, you can move it. If you can do that, but sometimes there's just, you know, it's just the right thing to do. It's just the right. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, moving the the dial when it comes to just human relationships very difficult to measure you know, cultural programs or social clubs or whatever, if you've got a, a business where you're trying to create that or change the culture or get people more involved, it is exhausting because you're, you're going you're gonna to plan events and you're going to tell people about it and you're going to put energy into it and then no one's going to come. And then you're going to do it again and like one person will come. And they'll do it again and no person will come again. But then like eventually, what you don't realize, I think, is that people appreciate the invite even if they're not ready to show up. And then all of a sudden, one day, you'll kind of hit one where a bunch of people come. And then the next one. And then it's like the snowball rolling down the hill, right? And all of a sudden, totally. people are, you know, just so excited about it. So same thing with, with, with publishing and putting stuff out there and, and helping people and giving, 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 right? You give 10 times and then it comes back. Yeah, it's, it really is incredible. And it something you say today might not have an impact until years down the road, but mm -hmm. you didn't put it out there. And it feels really awesome too, right? It's very, very rewarding <laughs> to feel to, um, I had coffee with a guy not too long ago and I said, Oh yeah, I have this business partner. And he's like, Oh yeah, Caitlin, I watch all your videos. I love them. It's like, just keep posting them. They're amazing. I'm like, wow, really? <laughs> He's like, yeah, of course, they're so good. And so 
you know, hearing that come back a, li a little bit in some of those ways uh, is really nice, yeah. you know. Um, and funny enough, like we had another company reach out to us, right, the other day, and, and we were doing like kind of a meet and greet kickoff meeting. And it, it was almost like we were connected right away because they're like, oh, yeah, remember in your video on candor, blah, 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 blah. And, you know, it was like, yeah, totally. So it really... It, I think it accelerated that get to know you phase, right? Which is so cool to be able to have a Zoom call or like meet somebody for coffee and just already feel connected. And it's just this amazing sort of building trust, building relationships mm -hmm. um, that we don't even know are there yet. Yeah, it was a huge head start, right? They're already feeling like they are, are trusting us and knowing us and, and, and that's amazing. Right? Yeah. Um, you know, and that's free. Well, you know, some time. Time. How fun is this, right? We're having a drink. We're we're just talking about stuff we're probably talking about anyways, right? Yeah. <laughs> just hit the record button. Yeah. So I, it's super fun. You know, it's I, I would say Thursdays are now becoming my favorite day of the week just because we're gonna just like have a fun conversation and record it and throw it out to the world, you know. Um I know I look forward to it all the time. I'm like, is it is it time yet? Is it Thursday? <laughs> is it Thursday? Is it is it Thursday? Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm busy, but I'm already drinking. So right. <laughs> yeah. So that's uh, awesome. No, it's been a lot of fun in this. Our karmic this philosophy is one that I think um, I take forward for the rest of our our careers. Yeah, hundred percent. And we are we are seeing it come back, like you said, tenfold, right? We're putting a little bits, dips and drabs, and all of a sudden it's coming back, and uh, it's amazing. It's actually overwhelming how much it's coming back. To be honest, it it is. It almost feels like, yeah, like like you said, these doors are opening, and we just all we got to do is walk through. Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't even know if those doors would be there if we didn't. Um, Put our, open ourselves up to the opportunity and to the idea, right? And say, like, uh, lean in, we're going to do this. Whether totally. it has immediate financial gain or not. And, like, some of the initiatives that we kicked off this year, they won't have immediate financial gain. And a lot of time and effort into it. But we, and you and I talked about this, we just feel like it's right. And so, I mean, when we talked about measuring, we talked about the karmic business factor. Mm. Like, we embraced a couple new clients in a unique, innovative business opportunity that, you know, may or may not pay off, which is, you know, kind of scary. But we just, we both said, like, this is the right thing to do. And, and it was a feeling that we both had. How do you measure it? And you came up with this idea of the karmic business factor and, and putting that into our calculations. Yeah, like if you could... Put a multiplier into your ROI, right? If you could somehow change the case, you know, because sometimes, yeah, sometimes it comes back, right? Like, it could you, you know, measure that some way? So, yeah, something more to noodle on. But I think ultimately, I think you hit on it perfectly. Like, it's not immediate, right? I'm not going to put this out there and get money back right away, or I'm not going to get this and get, you know, a relationship right away. I have to have. I have to believe that it's the right thing to do and that it will work. And I have to continue to believe that and continue to do it. And if I'm genuine and authentic about it, eventually that wheel will start to turn and come back around. And for us, it's been about, I'd say three months ish, right? I've kind of thrown this yeah. out there that it's starting to come back, but it's been, cons been consistent and energetic. Um, yeah, you just have to believe at the end of the day. And like you said. Yeah. And I, I mean like the the being genuine is the the real key thing. Like if somebody thinks you have a hidden agenda, right? They'll feel it, they'll know it. Like but I think you and I, we genuinely want to see other people succeed. Like that that makes us happy. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah, totally. Why else do management consulting, right? Like, why else you want to help people realize their dreams, right? Totally. You know, give them that little push that they need. And that's amazing, right? 
Yeah. And I think people feel that like connecting to people where I have absolutely no, no other agenda. There's nothing in it for me, but that'll help them succeed. That even makes me happy. I'm like, yes, yes. Those two people, they're going to make, make the world a better place. I've connected them and it's great, you know, and there's absolutely nothing in it for, for me or for Anta or whatever, but it, it just, it makes me happy. It's the right thing to do. There you go. A world a little better than when we found it every day, right? That's the goal. Right. Well, cheers. I will cheers. Well, cheers. To that. And uh, see you next week. See you next week. <laughs>